Senator Gomen or Ms. Masitumba. Uh, Madam Speaker, <coughs> I rise to support the request by the chair for extension of time for the committee uh, to deliberate on this very important matter. Uh, first of all, Mr. Chair, Madam Chair, it is in public domain that uh, I belong, I am part of the group in this republic that think or all still think that this is not the time to amend our constitution. But I do not have the luxury, Madam Speaker, to watch the process and abstain from this very important process because I have a constitutional duty to contribute to this process of amending our constitution. And therefore, since it's a matter of course, it's a must for us to participate in this process because others have initiated, it has come to this house, I want to thank the chair and I want to thank Senator Orengo and the rest of the committee members for locating the place of parliament and the place and the institution of the institution of the Senate in terms of its contribution to this process. I am of the school of thought that believes that the process and the content of the uh, Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill 2020 is subject to deliberations by this house and it's subject to the decision that is going to be met by this house and we are not a rubber stamp. I believe, Madam uh, Speaker, and uh, I can see the changeover to the new sp speaker, to the uh, uh, Senator Maura, that, Madam Speaker, I believe that this House has the responsibility to advise the country before we talk about referendum as to whether it is right for us to go to a referendum with certain issues contained in that bill and we have also a responsibility to ensure that there is a harmony of the Constitution, of the various provisions of the Constitution. And there are many examples that are being given to the committee, including by IEBC on the limitation of boundaries, among others. I believe that this House will have to give proper advice to the, uh, uh, those who are promoters of this bill as to whether or not we should be able to go to referendum with the bill as it is. Madam Speaker, I believe also that as a senator who has opposed amending of the Constitution at this point in time, that given a chance to participate in this process and all of us participating in this House without looking at this group or the other group, I believe that our contribution, including my contribution, may become of great value to the Senate and to the promoters of the amendment bill as to what kind of Kenya we're going to have. I have said this before informally, and I want to say on the floor of this house, that when the day comes for deliberating and, uh, and, and debating this very important motion, I hope no one will come to this house and say every senator has two minutes or three minutes. In fact, to the contrary, instead of using the 15 or 20 minutes we usually use here, we should actually increase the time to every senator to 30 minutes so that we can record our observations and our views and our thoughts, ma ma Madam Speaker, and now Mr. Speaker, on the concerns we have about this bill. I ag totally agree with Senate Minority Leader Senator Orengo that 50 years, 100 years to come, Kenyans will want to know what, was, what were the thoughts of uh, Murkomen, what were the thoughts of uh, Sakaja, what were the thoughts of uh, Attorney General Emeritus, uh, what were the thoughts of Wetangula, Senator Wetangula, in terms of amending this constitution? It is sad in the past that we've had as this house to rubber stamp things. I hope this is not one of them. We are going to rise above our sectarian political sides. We, are, as a group of uh, Hustler Nation, as always said, Mr. Speaker, that we are ready for a conversation, for consultation, for a win-win approach to this process of amending our constitution. And I don't think there is a better institution for achieving that win-win approach than the floor of this house. Madam, Mr. Speaker, I want to be very grateful uh, uh, that we have this opportunity to engage. And I believe and I promise that I hope we will, cross, uh, uh, we will close ranks across the aisle, sit down together, forget about the factions that are taking place on this side of the house of Jubilee, and sit down, all of us, to agree 
are on the way forward on the amending the Constitution. On the question of uh, 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 amending the Constitution, we are discussing these issues as speak at a time when we are also discussing about achieving gender parity. And uh, since I didn't get the time to say this, I want to congratulate Senator Agnes Mudama, as a speaker, for her election. I went to Machakos, campaigned against her. I, I, I stood firm and said I would prefer her son to be elected, who was called Ngengele, and then so that then he can come here and she, he can take care of his mother. But the people of Machakos say they want the mother. And that's how they ended up electing uh, Senator Agnes Mudama and brought her here. Now that she's here, uh, Mr. Speaker, and, uh, and Senator, Senator Mutula Kilonzo should not be too excited because, as you know, Mr. Speaker, Senator Mudama was our candidate in 2017. Who was only, we prepared her, we shaped her, we, well, all that happened. Finally, Waipa came to inherit her, Mr. Speaker, and, and finally uh, delivered her to this house. And since that has happened, this house now becomes the first chambers of parliament since independence to achieve a third or a two-third gender rule. And I am glad that I belong to a party called Jubilee and UDA, Mr. Speaker, who became the pioneers in so far as the election, Madam Speaker, of the first women to this house. Senator Fatuma Dulo here, who is a member, who is a, the only senator elected in UDA, and the first senator woman from the north to be elected to this house, Mr. Speaker, comes from the UDA party, the Wilbarrow party, Mr. Speaker. Senator uh, 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 Margaret Kamar, my neighbor, and Mr. Speaker, whom I am uh, the senator of our mother, is Mr. Speaker comes from Jubilee and my neighbor. Senator Kihika comes from Jubilee, our friend and, aspire, and, and Mr. Speaker believes in the ideals of the Hustler Nation. They are all elected from this side. So it means if we can have more time to look at this constitutional amendment process, we can achieve a conversation that will ensure that this house achieves a third gender rule, but allows also the National Assembly to have an opportunity to elect women to that chamber that are also going to contribute to a third gender rule without really having over 100 people being nominated to parliament. That is the kind of conversation I look forward that we are going to have that conversation. And I want to ask Senator Agnes Mudama to work so hard in this remaining one year so that a woman, either herself or another woman, is elected from Machakos again to come here so that we move forward. We don't move back, backwards in terms of election of women to parliament. And it is possible. It is achievable. And I want to ask those who are in the committee to be willing to listen to us, to have this conversation on how we can make this house gender compliant but assist also National Assembly with the participation of Kenyans not nomination of party uh, leaders to elect people to National Assembly that I can achieve the third gender rule. I want to assure you, Senate Minority Leader, Senator Orengo, I know we disagree politically. You are on the other side of political aisle, but I want to assure you that should the opportunity come for us to have a conversation on this bill, I am willing to sit with you on the same round table to hammer a consensus, Senator Wango, tafadhali. I believe I heard uh, Onesman Kipchumba Murkomen, yes. Senator Eminent Lawyer, say that he belongs to Jubilee Party and ODA. Yes. Is that in order? No. I believe that under our constitution and under our laws, you are supposed to belong to only one party and not two. And if he actually belongs to two, can he tell us which party he prefers of the two? Because you cannot serve God and mammon. You will either love one and hate the other. Uh, Senator Wetangula. Notice that when Senator Wako was on his point of order, Senator Murkomen was actually standing there gesturing. That is not part of our standing orders. The, the moment a member says point of order, the member on the floor takes a seat 
and said, the Murkumen has been very good at this. I don't know why he's degenerating. Uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Senator Wetangula used to raise very serious point of orders. I don't know when the, he degenerated to such minute <laughs> issues <laughs> on the floor of the house. Uh, be it as it may, I think uh, in all fairness, I can confidently say, Mr. Speaker, that I belong to both UDA and Jubilee Party. And this is the explanation, that Mr. Speaker was elected to this house under Jubilee Party of Kenya. And Mr. Speaker, in that Jubilee Party, we signed a coalition agreement before even my election with the UDA. So when I arrived at this house, I became the majority leader, and the UDA senator became the deputy majority leader. And we have worked together since then. So I am in support of both parties, and uh, there is no contradiction at all insofar as the same issue. In fact, if Senator Wako, I'm surprised the senior counsel, has not read the relevant provisions of the Constitution that talks about you either belong to a party or a coalition of parties. And I'm part of that coalition that brings together Jubilee and UDA, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I, know, I don't know why Senator Mutula is shaking his head, because Mr. Speaker, he has been knocking the door. He signed a cooperation agreement with Jubilee. He wants also to join UDA and Jubilee, Mr. Speaker. So he should, uh, he should understand and appreciate the, uh, that coalition, when I talk about I belong to the Jubilee Coalition, Jubilee Coalition includes the United Democratic Alliance, which is the Wheelbarrow Party, which is the Asla movement, um, Mr. Speaker, which I'm very proud to be part and parcel of that movement. I was concluding by saying, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, and which, by the way, the, the, the <laughs> Senator Orengo? Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, w the issue that uh, has uh, been raised by Senator Wako is very critical and is foundational on how our multi-party democracy operates. You can be a member of a political party which belongs to a coalition. For example, m Mr. Speaker, Honorable Tula Kilonzo is a member of the Jubilee Party uh, which is a member of a coalition. Uh, no, no, he's a member of WIPA, but he can be a member of NASA coalition, he can be a member of a Jubilee coalition. But you cannot be a member of two distinct parties, because Jubilee is a distinct party. And uh, Senator Fobaringo will tell you that he's a, he's a member of KANU, but he's not a member of Jubilee. I would. Uh, I would uh, dare Senator Murkomen repeat what he's saying on the floor, that he's a member of Jubilee Party and a member of UDA, and be ready to take the consequences. I, I, do, I, I, I dare him say that he's a member of UDA Party and a member of the Jubilee Party. Not a sympathizer. I dare him say that, because then what follows for good order, it can be taken at the appropriate forum. Senator Murkumen, where's Kumalizia? Senator Orengo, I can say I'm a member of UDA without any consequence. Nobody can dare to bring any, 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 uh, anything against me. It's only Senator Maura and the other nominated senators, they like harassing. But be that as it may, I am a member of Jubilee Coalition where UDA is a member, and I'm a, a total sympathizer of UDA party, uh, together with all its uh, uh, ph philosophy and, uh, and, uh, and, and, uh, and manifesto, and the ASLA and the wheelbarrow movement, Mr. Speaker, and I also believe in Tuko Pamoja, which is bringing people together. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, so that I don't take uh, a, a long time, in conclusion, I'd like to uh, say that I was telling Senator Orengo, which was the most important part of my communication, that although we disagree politically, and we are in the, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Senator Orengo may be happy to listen to this. Senator Orengo, you know, ODM party, after ODM party, 
it's only ODM party and the sympathizers of the Wilbur movement who enjoy the majority of this house. Uh, on your side, it's ODM which calls the shots. And I've always said, even though I disagree with the former prime minister, I have requested the parties that work in the NASA coalition or NASA coalition to respect ODM. Because, Mr. Speaker, I did my arithmetic the other day. I realized that Fort Kenya has one member of, Parliament, of Senate, WIPA has only three members of Senate elected, KANU has only two, and Mr. Speaker, um, Amani has only two, but one is already an uh, ODM sympathizer. So I respect the ODM party as the second largest party in this house. But if you remove, if you bring, um, Mr. Speaker, the Asla movement here, it's only ODM and Asla movement who can think about one single party majority in this house. And so, even though our ideologies differ, even though we do not agree, and we will have fierce competition next year, I believe on the constitutional review process, and I promise Senator Rengo, if there will be a time that will be asked to sit down on the round table to achieve a win-win approach, so that we go to the uncontested referendum, to sit on the round table to agree on issues, I promise that those of us who on this side subscribe to the Hasla ideology are going to bring ourselves to that table and we are ready and willing to hammer and discuss the issues that are there for us to move forward as one united country and a one team. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Asante sana. Nafikiri huo ni mchakato ambao utaendelea. Sisi ni wanachama wa Jubilee, chama cha Jubilee. Nafikiri e, miungano ya kisiasa, mimirengo ya kisiasa inaendelea kuibuka. Lakini hapa naona kwamba kuna maseneta wengi sana.